For this video, previously I was going to talk about these Polaroid LAN cameras. Um, these are plastic Polaroid cameras that were produced, I think, from the 70s. Um, maybe you're a little bit off in these days, but from the 80s to up till the up to the late 90s. And they're very popular. There's a lot of different versions, but um, it came down to a question that I had with me and my friend, and he kind of asked me, if you're going to get a Polaroid camera or an instant camera, what would you get? And I wouldn't recommend these cameras. And I, the reason I wouldn't recommend them is because they're older, um, and a lot of them don't have flash on them. So if you look here, I'll open this one. And some of the new ones do, so um, this doesn't apply to that, but some of these things apply. These ones don't have flash, and because the film is 200, 400, you're going to need flash to shoot this indoors. So without flash, you're, gonna, you're only going to be able to shoot it outdoors. Um, and the newer ones, there's extra features like autofocus and um, autofocus and flash are built in. But that comes to our second biggest deal breaker. And the second biggest, biggest deal breaker is that um, these cameras only take Polaroid um, or now Impossible Project Film. And Impossible Project Film is really expensive. expensive. So Impossible Project Film is about um, $20 for 10 shots. And that comes out to $2 a shot. So um, it's kind of hard to swallow that when you're buying a camera that's 3 or $4. And personally, I don't pay more than $5 for any Polaroid camera unless it's the SX-70. Um, I, I just don't because, they, first of all, they don't resell for that much. And then I, I'm just, I just don't use them. So usually I buy them, test them, see if they work, and then sell them back on eBay or on Etsy. And it's because the film is just so expensive. I, and the um, thing I recommend is looking for cameras that use FP100C, so um, older cameras like the older Polar Land cameras, because they those only come out to a dollar a shot. But um, when my friend asked me what would I recommend, I actually recommended a whole different uh, type of camera. I recommended the new uh, Fuji Instax camera, the 210, and there's another one, the Wides. Um, these come out to about 20 shots for $16, so less than a dollar a shot. Um, the technology is new. You're gonna. There's a lot of new cameras coming out. I think Lomography has introduced two cameras in the last couple of years. The Bell Air, which has a um, an Instax wide back. Um, the Diana, which also has an Instax back back. Instax back, and then uh, the new one, the Luminstant. I think that's how you say it. And these are these are um, cheaper to shoot with over the long run, and um, because the film's cheaper. And then if they break, you can send them back. So. If um, you were gonna ask me, should I hey should I go to a thrift, a thrift store, buy for two or three dollars, and buy the twenty pack of film? I would maybe tell you, hey, um, that's a bit much. I would maybe think about going if you're gonna want to shoot instant, starting with Instax and then um, moving back. And these ones I wouldn't really recommend that much too because they're pretty cheap overall. And then I don't think you're gonna get um, you can get some great shots, but. Um, Using those newer cameras, I think it's going to be a much more consistent thing, and then the troubleshooting is going to be a little easier too. So once these go bad, how to get the film out, things like that, um, get pretty tricky. And um, they're all plastic, and they all have, you know, kind of cheap plastic lenses and things like that. So uh, Polaroid wasn't after the SX70 and getting up to this point. They, their qual their goal was not to have the highest quality of cameras. Um, they were just trying to sell a lot of cameras, and that's why. There's so many versions of these cameras. So um, that's my take on that. And um, try, hopefully it didn't bump people out that I didn't um, love those Polaroid cameras, but you know, I just wouldn't recommend them if you asked me to, to buy them and start to get an instant photographer. I think there's a lot easier ways and there's gonna be a lot newer ways. So I think it's great that um, that Insects, Insects Film's really picking up. There's actually two new cameras in the last couple of years. And that's an amazing thing. Um, you don't see too many new film cameras and having those two are just really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye.